Filled with incredible historical sites, important cultural landmarks, and beautiful landscapes, Europe is a treat to explore. However, it can be hard to know where to start. Its world-class capitals of London, Paris, and Madrid attract the most visitors. The continent's 44 countries each have delightfully different cities and attractions to explore. Add in picture-perfect beaches and scenic mountains, ancient ruins, many spectacular sights and breathtaking landscapes, and it's easy to see why Europe attracts more than half of all the world's tourists. First off, London. Fly from wherever you are to London in the morning, then take the train to the city. Once you get to the city, go to your Erden Hostel, hotel wherever you're staying and get settled in, and just get your bearings together. Borough Market After settled head on over to the Borough Market and spend the late morning here touring around and seeing all of what this place has to offer. Located in the heart of central London, Borough Market is one of the most happening tourist places in London. It is also said to be London's oldest market. Shop for a variety of local foods, pastries, oysters, wine, coffee, and much more. The British Museum One of London's top attractions for tourists includes this fascinating museum founded in the 1750s. It is one of the biggest museums in the world with 8 million permanent exhibits. The museum is curated with items from different periods and from all over the world. This museum is one of the world's largest and most important museums of human history and culture. Hyde Park Situated in the heart of the city, it is the one of the most beautiful tourist places in London. Hyde Park is also one of the biggest royal parks. The park is a great tourist place in London to spend some quality time with family and friends. It has some amazing water features and statues, making it a must-visit attraction for tourists. The park has been listed on the Register of Historic Parks and Gardens since 1987. Coca-Cola London Eye Rotating over the River Thames, the London Eye is the most iconic and must-visit tourist place in London. The London Eye consists of a giant wheel offering the most beautiful views across the city. During the night, the wheel is lit up in glittering lights and also serves as the centerpiece of London's annual New Year's firework display. You wouldn't want to miss out on this one. Sea Life London Aquarium The Sea Life London Aquarium hosts about 1 million visitors each year. It is home to one of Europe's largest collections of global marine life. The aquarium offers an unforgettable experience as you start your journey in their stunning glass tunnel. You will witness some amazing attractions and see some major water stars like seahorses, octopus, zebra sharks, and the popular clownfish. More than 2 million liters of water is used in this aquarium. Big Ben The journey in London for tourists is incomplete without witnessing the world-famous clock. It is London's most iconic national timepiece. Big Ben consists of the House of Parliament and the Elizabeth Tower. The clock tower has been listed a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. After London, our next destination will be Amsterdam. Get on the Eurostar train at St. Pancras Station to get to our next location. Amsterdam is one of the most charming cities in the world, and getting lost in the streets is one of the best things you can do here. There's something new to discover every time, but here are some of our favorites. Heineken Experience 
You can start your tour at the Heineken Experience, where you'll learn all about the history of the iconic brand and see how they make their famous brew. It takes about two hours to tour, and for the cost of 18 euros you get tokens to enjoy ice-cold beer. Heineken Experience is right on the edge of one of the trendiest neighborhoods in the city. It's also where you'll find the Netherlands' largest street market, Albert Kuyk Market. Bob Sweets This is the number one sweet shop in Amsterdam on TripAdvisor. They hand roll and cut the signature bonbons in store and offer a great range of flavors. If you're a real foodie, then you'll appreciate the, the food in Holland. In this modern food market, you won't find much Dutch food, because it's internationally themed and features food from all over the world. Adam Lookout We recommend ending your day at the Adam Lookout. Here you get an incredible 360-degree view of the city. And what's more, you can even swing out over the edge of the building if you're brave enough. Hopefully, you're not afraid of heights so you can enjoy the view of the city as the sun goes down. After Amsterdam, our next destination will be Paris. Get back on the Eurostar train to get to our next location. After reaching Paris, make sure to take some rest and then head to the famous restaurant, Seal de Paris. Seal de Paris. This gourmet restaurant is not only the highest restaurant in Paris, but also the highest restaurant in Europe. The restaurant is all about gourmet French cuisine with fabulous panoramic views that will make your night a memorable one. Located on the 56th floor of the Montparnasse Tower. From here, you can view the Eiffel Tower and many other landmarks. The design of the restaurant is modern contemporary. Latin Quarter A neighborhood in Paris where you can find several booksellers, amazing cafes, some historical landmarks, and a beautiful park. The Latin Quarter is also known as the Fifth Arrondissement. It is located on the left bank of the River Seine, and it is a famous neighborhood that is filled with restaurants and bookshops. When visiting this area, I recommend you start your day at Shakespeare & Company. Here you can browse in their bookstore or grab a coffee to start your day. After having the coffee of Shakespeare and Company stop by the Cluny Museum. The museum is built over the remnants of the 3rd century Gallo-Roman baths. A monumental structure in Paris is the Pantheon, which was ordered to be built by King Louis in 1758 in honor of Saint Genevieve, which is Paris's patron saint. After Paris, our next destination will be Barcelona. Get on the Air France plane at Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport to get to our next location. Barcelona is one of the world's most popular tourist destinations, attracting millions upon millions of visitors each year. So why is it so popular? Well, it has almost everything any holidaymaker would desire. Easy access, favorable weather conditions, attractive beaches and surrounding mountains, a buzzing nightlife, tasty local cuisine, and it's steeped in culture and history. Gothic Quarter For a quick lunch off the famous La Rambla Promenade, we made our way to the Gothic Quarter, a large mostly pedestrian area perfect for getting lost although now filled with trendy bars and restaurants and boutique shops. Its history encompasses the oldest parts of Barcelona. It was the end of the first century when the city itself was founded by the Romans. The colony was named Barcino and parts of Roman walls can still be seen today. Park Gale Our main stop today would be another architectural marvel originally built as a private residential park in the early 1900s it became public property soon after.
Park Gel was designed by the famous architect Antoni Gotti, whose designs can be seen all over the city, most notably La Sagrada Familia Cathedral. As any other park, it's designed to bring you peace and calm. However, you will soon be immersed in the fairy tale-like atmosphere brought by the extravagant structure designs, its focal point being the main terrace, surrounded by a long bench in the shape of a sea serpent. Our final stop will be Madrid. To reach there, hop on the metro and head to the Barcelona Sands. Board to a Renfe high-speed train to reach your destination. After spending time in Barcelona, we arrived in Madrid, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to explore the Spanish capital. With other cities in Spain getting all the headlines, we weren't quite sure what to expect from Madrid. Even though it's Spain's biggest city and it's the country's capital, we found that we just didn't really know that much about it. Prado Museum a truly world-class museum, the Prado Museum, has a collection of more than 8,000 paintings and 700 sculptures. Among its extensive assortment of artworks are many masterpieces, including celebrated paintings that rival the most famous works of the Louvre Museum in Paris. Royal Palace This grandiose palace is the Spanish version of Versailles, a royal court designed to impress, However, unlike Versailles, which is now just a museum, the Royal Palace of Madrid is still the official residence of the monarch, the King of Spain, and continues to be used for official state events. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe the channel.